Ultimately, the interpretation of whether one specific model is better than its counterpart is completely subjective. If it were up to me, though, I would opt for the STI, for sure. Now, speaking of interpretations, race car drivers are often so focused on their sport that it can be very difficult to imagine them and their everyday behavior on the road. So, we decided to meet up with some of our NASCAR driving friends, armed with some slightly smaller cars, to see if we could take a peek into how their automotive minds really work. So remember, just pick one out okay. at a time. Okay. And this does not count as practice for your okay. race, okay? Okay. But it's important visualization. Okay. So whenever this is a very good word association game. So as soon as you take one out, whatever comes to mind, just say it. Has to be honest though. I want the honest reaction. Always. I don't want to see you all, uh, and make up some nice story. I want to know what yeah, yeah. the real Patrick Caponsi is thinking. We go oh, way no, back, no, okay? No, yeah, I, yeah, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> First one. Oh, it's the good ah, one. Breast Cancer Foundation. What does this make you think? My favorite color. Your favorite color. <laughs> uh, pink. Uh, one of my daughter, uh, her name is Rose. He makes me think of my, uh, my son, he's four. And he's got so many of these things. It's okay, unbelievable. Okay, in pink. But they're blue. Oh! <laughs> evil can evil! But, uh, what, what is your experience with tow trucks? You ever run into those? Actually, you know what's funny enough? I, I'm just having one today, actually. <gasps> what happened? And that's why we're late for the press conference. No! Yeah. You're <laughs> yeah. the reason? Carponce had got a tow truck yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, he was late for the press conference. Oh, I think I ran out of gas about, well, a year ago. A year ago. I thought I was going to make it, but they show up. I'm not yeah, surprised. This morning we're going to go having breakfast, to have breakfast, and uh, we couldn't find a parking, so I said, hey, there's a spot there. And it said, Andrew was with me, and he said, oh, it says reserved. Yeah, That's reserved for you. Yeah. That's what you said, ah, said no they, problem. They always reserve it for me. So we parked there, <laughs> and it was on a corner, and when I came back, it I, wasn't took, I took somebody's spot. So he boxed me in. He locked the car in, he just parked like that. Couldn't take the car anymore. So it's still there, and he's probably still in front of me, hopefully, but we'll get this guy. <laughs> And move him out. <laughs> what, if he, what if he gets this guy first and you're moved out? That's what me, I'm afraid call of. Call me and tell me the no. story. I, I want to know. <laughs> oh, uh, you, don't, you don't want to see that. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, oh this, honestly, when I pull this out, not good memories. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. They're all my friends, so uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, Paul, Lise. Oh. <laughs> Another car you don't want to uh, see. That car, yeah, doesn't. It's not always good memories. No, not no. Good memories. What kind of memories do you have? But I have one that's good, though. I have quite a few that are okay, not too good. Okay, let's see what's good. our good one. Oh, I lost my license. <laughs> but I got one that's good. There was a winner in uh, during the winter, and that was up in the uh, outside Montreal, and I was sliding my car sideways on the snow, of For course. fun? Yeah, just okay. for fun. Safe. And this guy was behind me, so he saw me. So they stopped me, and the guy loved racing, actually. So he stopped me, took my papers, came back, gave me back my papers, and said, you know, we'll let you go this time, just be careful. And I was with one of my friends in the car, and so he, he goes up front, I was like, whew, got pretty lucky there. But when he left, he took his car and he just did whoa, 360s and he had one of his hand outside the car and it was the funniest thing. I did some burnout in corners and um, I had the cuffs get in my hand one time but it was... Uh, did you talk your way out of the ticket though? I did. I was not really speeding, I was just, I don't know. In speeding my, a little bit? Yeah, I was maybe like uh, 12 over. I was 80 zone, so I was 100. I was not that bad. But 80 zone, 100 is 20 yeah, over. Not, exactly. Not 12 yeah. over. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> not that bad. Done. Come on. <laughs> and uh, I got lucky because the the, the, the cops uh, recognized me and they uh, gave me a break. Okay. So that was very nice of me. Thank you know, you know what? I have to tell you something. Every single race car driver we have shown that to, yeah. I said the same thing. Oh yeah. I, I got pulled over, but I didn't get the ticket. What's going on out there, PD? Gonna no, have to write you a little letter. They're nice people. That's right. <laughs> Right, so what have we learnt here? Pink race cars have sentimental value, and in order to avoid getting a ticket from the police, all you need to be is a recognizable professional race car driver. 
Right. I'll get right on that. Join us next week for a very special tuning pit stop. We're also going to take a look at the difference between a production car and a touring class race car. And we're going to do Import Fest 2010 in Toronto. Take the show with you anywhere on iTunes. Don't forget to become a fan of the show on Facebook. And follow me on Twitter at Donna Mei Ling. And keep your pencil sharp and your mind even sharper. We'll see you next week.